Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment through streaming. That website www.thestreamingadvisor.com. Today we're taking a look at some firmware for the Gbox MX2. This is firmware version 1.2.2. We went ahead with 1.2.2 even though it's a beta version because tech support told us that this is actually the best version out right now. This is a beta and you can get it from the wiki. You can access that from the home page for Matricom. So what we're going to do is show you a little bit about how the firmware works you can see that it's sort of a new design 1.2 had the same design but previous versions did not look like this all of your apps are located here in the little red square or rectangle this is your Google Apps if you want to add something from an SD card it's very easy go into this file manager here go into storage and you can see external SD you can also access other files that are actually part of the Gbox we're just going to go back to the home screen All right. So, you see the Google Play Store. This works just like the Google Play Store would on any other device. Albeit slowly, apparently, today. To sign into the Google Play Store, of course, you have to have a Google account. We've already signed in, so I don't have to share my password with the whole internet world watching today and just for your information the reason you see a cursor is we're using the Matricom G mouse so there's the Google Play Store Some of the features that make this version a little different than some of the earlier versions are the Gmonx launcher. Let's take a look at that. You can personalize the Gbox a little more than you could but in the past. Simple things like the background color. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think that these colors quite match up with their descriptions. For instance, dark blue. We've changed the background color. I'm going to back out. Does that look dark to you? I don't think so. Folks in North Carolina would call that Carolina blue. but you can personalize it nonetheless. I'm just going to go back to black. And there we are. But within these settings, we can do a couple of things. A helpful feature is to show the update button. I'm going to go ahead and have that done. So next time I want to update if there's a new release, I can go right here and it will show what's available. But I'm not updating today. the complete the action button I don't like to be locked into things 
so I always complete the action just once but you can use the launcher you can use the G-Box launcher and you can even make it do that all the time I just like to keep my options open in case something messes up now XBMC on the G-Box has to be installed separately as I showed you in a separate video you do this by using the file manager you go into storage and you have to have this on your SD card already our SD card is not in right now but once you have that in you can launch XBMC which we'll do from here this is called Beyond XBMC it's not part of the official XBMC builds you just have to find it by looking for it I like it because it's colorful but that is a brief tour of the firmware 1.2.2 I hope you found this helpful for more on the G-Box, Android boxes, and streaming in general, check us out at www.thestreamingadvisor.com. Thank you. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Have a good day.